Welcome back subscribers, I'm Kafer Kieran, and today we got back from a really long bike ride. We're going to go up a, our final hill, but as you can see, this gives a hint to what we're making today, which is oatmeal cookies. We have been eating Passion for Wholeness for a long time, and my mom's uh, friend, Hannah Lee, which she met in a spin in class, actually is the owner of Passion for Wholeness. So, I, as you can see, I've got this a little bit ready. The recipe says to only use dates, but I like to add a little, little bit of extra flavor to make oatmeal cookies. So, I've put in some peaches, as you can see, and yeah. I'm going to let these soak in a hot water from the kettle over here for uh, until we get back from our long uh, hill climb. Uphill, trust me. And the weirdest thing about my mom's friend, Hanali, is that she... She know, we know her well enough that now she even knows our dogs, which you will see later. And let's see what they look like after. Let's let them soak. Okay, back here. My dates are soaked, my peaches are soaked, and I'm ready to add the wet ingredients and with the dry ingredients. First, let's take the soaked dates and peaches and get them a very good blend because you don't want any chunks in these oatmeal delicious sporty cookies. You want to hold down the blender, otherwise stuff will go all over the place and make a mess in your kitchen. And trust me, nobody wants that. Homegrown alligator, see you later. Gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. The sun had changed in the atmosphere, architecture unfamiliar. I could get used to this. Time flies by in the yellow and green. Stick around and you'll see what I mean. There's a mountain top. That I'm dreaming of If you need me, you know where I'll be I'll be riding shotgun Underneath the hot sun Feeling like it's someone Okay, I think it's done. Whew. So, because we're going to add in our two eggs for extra protein, our coconut butter and our mac nut butter over here, and that's going to make a mess, and it's not going to fit in here. We're going to put it in here, in which we're eventually going to put Passion for Wholeness Oats Porridge with the twist in to mix it in with and blend it eventually. So first, I've got to pour around, I'd say about half of this in here, just to make space for the other stuff. Great, that's around half. And now, here, let me quickly put the blender in, the, in there, just to make sure... Okay, let's put, yeah, that's good. Okay. Now we're going to put the mac nut butter. I'm going to take a big blob of this, big, big spoon, soup spoon. <sighs> big blob of mac nut butter over here. Can I go in here? Now we're going to add two eggs. So pink, but I guess that means they're more fresh. Oops. <laughs> then we're gonna add coconut butter. Not too much, but you know, quite a lot. Mistake with the egg. Finally, we're going to pour all of this in there and blend it. First, you want to blend it here. Okay, that looks good. Now, make a double shirt. Now, 
pour this stuff in with that and give it one last blend just to make sure everything's really mixed up. First, we want to add some oats. These, we don't want to put all of them in, but we, we want to first blend this in so it will mix better. Because of the egg accident over there, hands are a bit greasy. <laughs> oh my. Uh, there we go. I don't like pumpkin seeds. One thing you'll know about me. But I like grinded pumpkin seeds, which is the only way my mom will. It's the only way my mom convinces me into eating. Because, you know, can't see a pumpkin seed, can't ever taste it. <sighs> now we're going to put a couple of oats in here because they're oatmeal. So, of course, there must be some oats. <sighs> now, let's blend all this together with a spoon. Huh? <sighs> to clean up. Now we're going to decant all of this into our baking tray, in which we don't have enough. We don't have, how do I say this, a cupcake tray, but we do have a, uh, what do they call Muffin, muffins. So we don't have little uh, biscuit cakes and like cookie cup, cookie uh, baking trays, but we do have muffin ones. So that's a nice way to do it. Okay, this looks good. <sighs> to uh, pour and do our, you notice we're using olive oil. We want to have nice, healthy stuff. Uh, they're going to decant it into, what's this now, 12 trays to uh, make it very mixed. And when that is done baking, we will have it all ready and done. And now we've got to stir the oat, uh, the oat mixture, a lot more. As you can see, there's a lot of pumpkin seeds in there. I'm not, I'm not happy with that, you know. I'm not. I, I'm not. I really hope my mom's right about them, like stirring up and like blended. And like, I'm not happy about this. <laughs> I hope they go away. So I'm gonna blend them a bit more just to make sure there's no, no pumpkin seeds, you know. <laughs> I'm really not okay with this. Hold it by the handle, of course. Hands are all greasy. <laughs> I think any pumpkin seed would live through that. Whew. Glad I made sure. Went one of those nasties getting in my mouth. Ugh. Not much of a treat when there's pumpkin seeds in there, is it? Okay, let's decant. I'm gonna get a spoon. 
to uh, help me. And so let's just use a fork for now. Now, mm. let's probably use a spoon. As you know, spoons are better. Okay, okay. we're going to decant them all. Like that. Ugh. Some more. Gosh, this is a really thick mixture. I hope it's not this tough to chew through. I must say, this is one very tough mixture. It's so thick and heavy. I might not have them equally divided, but don't worry. I have my spoon here for a reason, and that is so I can finally divide them. I'm just getting it all out of here so I can put it in my muffin tray or cupcake, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> but don't worry. I can even these out. Wow, we almost done. up a bit more and just make sure <sighs> finally we're gonna put them in the oven and make them bake I'll see you after they're done and I'll show you the final product go <gasps> okay back here and hi I'm quite tired my PJs here and yeah finally finished as you can see, our finished product. Don't want to get burned, but these. So yeah, oatmeal cookies, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with my auntie's uh, recipe. I will say it does look quite tasty. Mmm. Not just looking, tastes good. Bye. See you next episode.